option. Yes, I got it. Okay, recording in progress. Loss of hydrogen. Oxidation means loss of hydrogen. We have two types of uh, reactions now. I mean, every reaction could be either oxidation or reduction or redox means there could be oxidation and reduction both. But what is oxidation and what is reduction? Oxidation means loss of hydrogen. Gain of oxygen is oxidation. I mean, you can see if something is gaining uh, oxygen or hydro, uh, or if some something is losing hydrogen. These are the hydrogen and oxygen. ये नहीं आपने देखना कि कोई ऑक्सीजन गैस को गेन कर रहा है बिकॉज बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स मुझे कहते हैं मैं वो एलिमेंट ने एक ऑक्सीजन को गेन किया उसने ओ टू को गेन नहीं किया था तो इसका मतलब है कि वहां ऑक्सीडेशन नहीं है नहीं 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 गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन आई हैव रिटर्न ऑक्सीजन गैस सो वट इज ऑक्सीडेशन गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन लॉस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन और यू कैन सेम ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन जरूरी तो नहीं है ना कि हर दफा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीजन और हाइड्रोजन आपको नजर आ जाए किसी भी रिएक्शन में सो यू कैन सी आई मीन यू कैन चेक द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर नहीं समझ आ रहा और आपकी बहुत अच्छी ग्रप है ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट पर सो यू कैन से इंक्रीजिंग ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज कॉल ऑक्सीडेशन दीज आर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन सॉरी दिस इज ओनली फॉर ऑक्सीडेशन सो फॉर द रिडक्शन मैं बता देती हूँ आपको रिडक्शन इज टोटली अपोजिट टू द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन सो रिडक्शन इज गेन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीडेशन इज गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो रिडक्शन विल बी लॉस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो रिडक्शन इज गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन और डिक्रीजिंग ऑक्सीडेशन इज कॉल्ड decreasing oxidation of state is called reduction now see for organic chemistry uh, let me check the reaction which reaction do i have here mm, oxidation and reduction of organic compounds okay oxidation in terms of oxygen means gaining of oxygen is called oxidation we did one example of, of oxidation yesterday oxidation we, we, uh, we did the difference between I mean, we discussed the difference between oxidation uh, reaction and the combustion reaction. Okay, so what is the oxidation? Let me give you some example. Mm. Let's bring. Wait. Let's bring a compound C C O H. The empty bonds. I mean, these bonds are filled with the hydrogen. This is alcohol. So the example of oxidation reaction is: see, this is alcohol. I am adding oxygen here. What will happen here? The compound will be C one two three hydrogen C double bond O H plus water. This is called oxidation. It was alcohol, and it has become. Can anyone tell me what is this? Aldehyde or the ketone? Can anyone tell me if it is aldehyde or the ketone? If someone could recognize the functional group, is it aldehyde or a ketone? It's an aldehyde, right? Exactly, because ketone is very similar to the ester. Okay, you are absolutely correct, Tifa. This is aldehyde. Okay, so what will be the name of the compound? हम name भी यहीं discuss कर लेते हैं ताकि आपको chain के name भी देना आ जाए. One, two. Ethanol, aldehyde AL, ethanol. It was ethanol. An oxidation of ethanol will give you ethanol. So if there, for example, if there is a question in your paper. that oxidation for example if they ask you how can you make uh, aldehyde or if they ask you uh, what what will be the product of oxidation of uh, alcohol simple if you want to make aldehyde you can do the oxidation of alcohol or oxidation of alcohol will give you aldehyde this is the simple the reduction reaction okay see the reduction reaction reduction this is your past paper reaction 
uh, reduction means gain of hydrogen. This is uh, this is a part of your past paper. The reaction which I'm going, uh, which I'm telling you, this is from your past paper. Uh, this is CH three CHO, CH three. This is CH three, C, H O. Okay, this is aldehyde. Okay, plus hydrogen gas means aldehyde is going to gain hydrogen means aldehyde is going to be reduced. Okay, so this is the example of reduction reaction. Okay, reduction of aldehyde will give you, let's see what we are getting. One carbon with three hydrogen, okay. One more carbon with one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and there will be OH. This is uh, ethanol, alcohol. So that's how you have to learn. The oxidation of alcohol will give you aldehyde. The reduction of aldehyde will give you alcohol. The oxidation of alcohol will give you aldehyde. The reduction of aldehyde will give you alcohol. This is your past paper reaction, and you have to learn it as it is. Other than this, um, uh, hybridization in organic compound is very easy. I mean, um, I have told you the trick of hybridization. I have told you the trick of hybridization to count sigma in the pi bond. It would be very easy for you. Um, instead of making some resting state and the exciting state, uh, better that you have trick to count the trick. What was that trick? Hybridization can be calculated by counting sigma upon and the lone pair. Yes. Sigma plus lone pair. You will get the hybridization. Hybridization in my pass, uh, con C here. SP, SP2, SP3. So if if the uh, if the sum of lone pair and the sigma bond is two, means two orbital means sp. Simple. Sp means two orbital. Sp two. Sp. What does sp two mean? Wait. Let me write it like this. Sp means s plus p. Two orbitals. Sp two means s plus p plus p means three orbital. Sp three means s plus p plus p plus p means four orbitals, four. So if the sum of sigma bond and the lone pair is equal to two, means sp. If the sum of sigma bond and the lone pair in a given thing is four, it means sp3 hybridization. So it's better to do hybridization like this instead of doing the resting state and the exciting state or pairs ke pi bonds check in a pairs ke um, check karna ke kaun kaha ja ke um, bonding kare, that will be more difficult. So this is easy. Vese bhi one, one or two, two mark ki question hai. Usne ye exciting state or um, uh, resting state mein kaha ab log apna time waste kirenge. C. C. H4. Achha, hybridization kiski find kirte hai? The central atom ki. Carbon is the central atom uh, in organic chemistry. If there are six carbons, so every carbon is central atom and you have to find hybridization of every carbon separately. Okay. So what is the hybridization of carbon and methane? There is no lone pair in carbon. I said chemistry may central atom is, uh, sorry, organic chemistry may the central atom is carbon. A carbon doesn't have any lone pair. It means you have to count sigma bond only. Jitane sigma bonds only we have a digestion number roga because organic chemistry is based on the carbon and carbon will be the central atom and carbon will never have lone pair. Humne kabhi carbon mein lone pair nahi dekha. So hybridization is very easy in organic chemistry. See. One, six, every single bond is sigma and every first bond is sigma. I mean, if there is a double or the triple bond, so the first bond will be sigma, the head to head overlapping and other one will be the pi. One sigma, two sigma, three sigma, four sigma, sp3. Four sigma means four, four means four orbitals. So one s, 
एक और तो एस नहीं हो सकता ना तो पी 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 और पी एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइजेशन दिस इज वेरी इजी टू फाइंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड इट इज आल्सो इजी इन इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू इफ यू यूज द ट्रिक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दैट ऑल स्टफ लाइक एक्साइटिंग स्टेट और वट एवर द थिंग इज वेल लेकिन मैंने वो भी सिखा दिया था आपको एक्साइटिंग स्टेट वगैरह और बिफोर द एग्जाम में एक दफा और बता दूंगी okay uh, let me show you one more for example there is ethene this is ethene if they ask you that what is the hybridization of carbon in ethene so there are two carbon and you have to find hybridization of both the carbon separately so for for this carbon one sigma two sigma then there is a double bond between the double bond there is one sigma all the time so three for this and one sigma two sigma and three sigma so three for this means sp2 so both the carbons are sp2 hybridized in ethene uh, but let me tell you one more thing in organic chemistry you have to focus on the shape of molecule also there is no lone pair so i cannot make hydrogen like this no 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 <laughs> the uh, there is there is repulsion between the bond pairs so hydrogen should be like this all the time you have to make shape carefully you have to make ethene like this all the time uh, for example uh, there there was a chain in your exam like this and you have to fill the hydrogen so see for this carbon you have to fill hydrogen like this tetrahedral this is tetrahedral no lone pair symmetrical tetrahedral central one cannot be this cuz like uh, like in shapes but the corner one i mean we have to discuss the corner carbons when we are discussing the shape of molecules so first carbon second and the third one see the third one the two hydrogen like this so the first carbon has tetrahedral structure the last or the third carbon or the right carbon it depends from where you are counting i, I mean we have to count carbon from here because the double bond is very near from the right side well so the this carbon this one okay this one this one this carbon is having no lone pair three bond pair one bond pair two bond pair three bond pair so all should arrange at equal distance or at equal angle to minimize the repulsion there is no lone pair so the shape will be symmetrical that is trigonal planar and the angle will be 120 So when they will give you any compound to make the skeletal formula, to make the structural formula, or or something else, or something, they will give you some uh, skeletal formula, and they will ask you to 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 make the display formula. So they will ask you one more thing: what what are the shape of that carbon, and what is the bond angle? So you should know all this stuff for organic chemistry also. So to check the hybridization number is easy. and shapes of molecules are also easy there will not be any pyramidal something or the band structure in organic chemistry because carbon will be the central atom it doesn't have any lone pair whenever there will be lone pair then then we get something band structure no? so there will be uh, either um, tetrahedral or there will be shape like um, trigonal planar i mean we have two shapes in organic chemistry either tetrahedral or trigonal okay other than this um, one thing more the polarity okay let's discuss the polarity then we can end the class uh, polarity in organic compounds methane let's see if it is polar or not first of all you have to see if the compound is symmetrical carbon doesn't have any lone pair this is a symmetrical compound like tetrahedral structure which one is electronegative no one we never discuss carbon uh, in electronegative elements we never discuss hydrogen in electronegative elements okay but still the carbon is more electronegative as compared to hydrogen because carbon has more nuclear charge you can see so we can say that electron i mean the electron of hydrogen is moving toward the carbon carbon is more powerful you can say so carbon is holding for nanosecond the, i mean carbon is holding the electron of hydrogen for a nanosecond 
this is the first carbon, uh, first hydrogen. This is the second hydrogen. So its electron will also be held by the carbon. These arrow means the dipole movement. Polarity means the pole, the positive pole and the negative pole. These arrow means they are, I mean, these arrow are telling you the direction of um, electrons, where they are moving for the longer period of the time, where, where electron is staying for the longer period of the time. These arrow means the dipole movement, the movement of electron. And see, take a minute, see this one and this one, both are opposite in direction. Cancel, no dipole, no polarity. This is, this, is, this is the polarity in organic compounds. See, this is third hydrogen, this is fourth. So electrons are moving like this. These are the dipole movement, which are telling you about something about the polarity, but they are exactly opposite to each other canceled. All the dipole movements are canceled. No polarity, compound will be nonpolar. But see, this is carbon. One more carbon. This is hydrogen, this is hydrogen, this is hydrogen, and there is O and there is OH, carboxylic acid. So oxygen is more electronegative. So it is holding the electron of carbon. So we have to show dipole movement like this. And there is one more oxygen, which is more electronegative as compared to hydrogen and carbon, and that is holding the electron. See, these red ones are the dipole movement, which are telling you that where electron is being holded. And these both cannot cancel each other. They are not exactly opposite to each other. They should be like this. Then we can cancel them. They are not canceled. So this end is polar, or the compound is polar. What is this? Carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid is a polar molecule. So this is the polarity in organic chemistry. This is simple, actually. Uh, let me check if there is more in a polarity. Mm. Is there any other compound? No. Uh oh, wait. Okay, there is no any other compound which should be discussed in polarity. So basically, uh, let, me tell, let me tell the example from inorganic chemistry also, so that there should not be any confusion. For example, HCl. Hydrogen is sharing its one electron to the chlorine and everyone knows that chlorine is more electronegative. So electron from the hydrogen is moving toward the chlorine. This arrow is showing the dipole movement, the movement of electron, you can say. And there is... No other dipole movement which can cancel this. So the compound is polar. For example, carbon dioxide. This is the structure of carbon dioxide. Everyone knows. Oxygen is more electronegative. So oxygen is holding electron from the carbon. There is more one more oxygen at the left side. It is also holding electron from the carbon. These are the dipole movement. So the compound should be polar but both the dipole movement are exactly opposite to each other. Cancel each other. For the cancellation of dipole movement and to make compound non-polar, the compound should be symmetrical. See, it is symmetrical, the linear structure. You cannot cancel dipole in, um, in non-linear or, or in a bent structure. For example, H2O, see. Oxygen. Oxygen has two lone pairs, no? so they will ripple the bond pair. See, this is water molecule, the red one. Oxygen is more electronegative, so it will hold the electron from the hydrogen. These are the dipole movements. They are not opposite to each other. For, for the opposite one, see the blue one. It will be opposite to each other, then I could cancel them. So dipole movements are not canceling each other. So the water molecule is polar, while carbon dioxide should be polar, but there are dipole movements and due to the symmetry, due, due to the shape of molecule, both the dipole movements are canceling each other. So the compound is non-polar. I mean, there are a lot of students who are confused that why carbon dioxide is non-polar? 
oxygen is second most electronegative element. We have three most electronegative element in a periodic table, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, fluorine. Oxygen is second most electronegative element. It is holding electron from the carbon. Why carbon dioxide is not polar? Reason, carbon dioxide, I mean, carbon doesn't have any lone pair. So the shape of molecule is symmetrical, exactly linear. That's why the dipole movements are canceling each other. So the compound could be non-polar. So whenever we are discussing the polarity, first you have to check the shape of molecule. No, no, no. First you have to check the electron negativity difference. Then before declaring the compound as polar and non-polar, check the shape of molecule. If the dipole movements are, if the dipole movement are canceling each other, means the compound will be non-polar. This is the most repeated question in your past paper. They can ask you like why carbon dioxide has a linear structure and why water has a polar, uh, sorry, why water has a bent structure while carbon dioxide has a linear structure. And they may ask you that ca uh, carbon dioxide has two oxygen uh, atoms while water has one oxygen atom. Oxygen is second most electronegative element in the periodic table, but it's still, Water is polar, but carbon dioxide is non-polar. So you should know about the dipole movement, which are canceling the polarity in a compound. That's why carbon dioxide is non-polar due to its linear symmetrical structure. There is a trick. Um, all the asymmetrical, like bipyramidal or bent structure, non-linear structures are polar because the dipole movements cannot be canceled. Simple. This is a trick. Okay, so this is all about the polarity. I guess this is enough for today because I guess Sabur is taking class with me since eight. Uh, you all can join me at eight, uh, 8 p.m. tomorrow also.